G'day legends and welcome to part number two of my Nations Cup recap. This one features round three and four, which were the last rounds I was able to compete in. As always, I hope you enjoy it. Let's check it out. Still in North America, Troll Mountain was the host for Nations round number three. Free 10 lapper in the 07 BMW M3. In quali, I briefly hit the top of the time sheets, but that was short lived as I get greedy with track limits, meaning I just have to sit back down. Storms to the top of the time sheets. Body. Three, two, one, go. And we're all racing. Danny with the early penalty. Fight too much, don't want bad Dino to get away. Duck with the slipstream, there's three up the inside. We got the number one behind us, Fat Daddy, the pole sitter. Early penalty. Puts him back there. Oh, we've gone. Oh no, that's gonna be damage, bro. No. Wasn't my fault. Pan Mac, I'm sorry. No good pulling out of the slipstream, we've got no speed with uh, the aero. Look, we're, not, we're going backwards. So is Fat Daddy. Oh, it's three wide. A group of five, look at the, look at the radar. Oh, this ain't gonna work.
Got that in there with a penalty. Half a second. Oh, come on, bro. Sorry, fat daddy. Didn't mean to get you, bro. Oh, daddy. Hang wide, keep it up the inside here, come on. Not bad, we're gonna have to just lift so we don't drift wide like that. Jump on the anchors at the top of that hill. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. Go, go. Come on. Get around, oh, it won't rotate for me, it won't rotate for me. Pan back, coming through. Old mate loves turning in when there's someone there, doesn't he? We hang on to it. something good to hear mate how'd you go uh, all racing a bit dirt Dirt ovals and uh, and paved ovals is probably what I miss, which is surprising. Well, not really. It will surprise other people. Well, you just turn and left. Yeah. Yeah, right, mate. Especially not in a sprint car or a micro. Super Formula Lights. I forgot that was added. One day soon, man. One day soon. Maybe by the end of the year we'll be uh, we'll be eye racing with you. Hope. Fingers crossed. Goes P6 with front and rear damage. But the beautiful Lake Maggiore was the next stop for nations. It's Viva Italia for round number four.
15 laps around the GP layout, one pit stop required. A rubbish qualifying outing to go with the rubbish car we're stuck driving. It's a pile of rubbish. Let's see how the race goes. On a, on a personal level, I want to be consistent. First two races in GT2, been inconsistent. Dirty air is a bit of a biatch. So we're pitting at the end of lap five. Pretty sure, Arnie, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, brother. Someone's wide, the angler. Kai, baby. Sneak up the inside there, but that leaves him on the inside for the next one. Oh, and he pushes me wide. Pit at the end of lap five. It's just confirming. That's what I did last race. I did five on the mediums. Sorry, five. Oh, okay. Driving from the devil, he knew that move was coming. Let's get a good exit. Come on, get up the hill. There we go. Coming, damn it. Wordy behind, catching up a little with this battle. I think we undercut.
Sit tight, be patient. Just one turn. Billy now behind us is in. Oh, car has gone. The angler. God, the angle's all wrong. Cheers to Fos. I had to make that stick on him. Tie different time. Just looking at our corner speeds. Understeer. Understeer, no tyres. <sighs> Bunch of silks when that happened. And then I watched that season of Drive to Survive and I was like, oh yeah, no, they, they were probably right. I wouldn't be on my outside angler because I cannot turn this thing in. The Titanic had more chance of missing an iceberg than me hitting an apex at the minute. Nadim! What, what? Welcome, bro. Welcome. That was a wrap for the season. Here are my final standings. 10th in Victoria, 83rd in Oceania. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, stay rad.